Hi right, folks, how's it going? Welcome to another video. This is going to be a quick out and about vlog. Uh, just a very brief one, but uh, I thought it's yeah, it's kind of calm today. It's just a little bit of wind, but not too bad. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd talk about something. Uh, the new PlayStation Plus, the, the three tiers, or the, the three different levels you can get with PlayStation Plus now. Um, so yeah, it's going to be brief because I don't know like, all the details, but I've heard like some things. So, so you get your, your three tiers. Obviously, you've got your PlayStation Plus that you've got the now, which at the moment I think it should like drop that in price. <laughs> now they've got the, like the two advanced ones. Um, I always thought PlayStation Plus was like, way too expensive. That's why I don't have it anymore. Like, you know, forty pound. Like, you can get a bloody game for that, you know. Or is it fifty now? I think it's fifty pound a year now, isn't it? The increased the price by ten pound. So um, yeah, it's extortionate. Like I remember like the p good old PS3 days. You could put that console on, you could play it online for free. You get PlayStation Plus for like your free games and they should like split it into two tiers, like I don't know, like pay less for the online but pay the normal price for like the free games, because I don't really borrow the free games like when I had PlayStation Plus. Um, it was very rare, like I got it for a month when I had Final Fantasy VII Remake because I was so excited to play that game. And that game did not let me down, that game was phenomenal. It was definitely worth like the the month's worth was it six seven pounds I think I paid for it just for the month just to play Final Fantasy VII remake definitely worth it um, but uh, yeah like, I, I do think they should drop that for the online like drop the price maybe twenty pound a year for online or something you know something like that um, I, don't know, I just think it's extortionate like I really really do like <laughs> I just don't agree with it at all I think it's wrong but that's just me. Um, I just don't want to pay fifty pound a year when I could get, I could get some games with that money, you know. And like, I'm not guaranteed to play it online like all the time anyway. Because I get like sometimes I get the urge to play games online, but most of the time I just prefer like playing single player games. So yeah, like I won't be playing online games for like the whole year probably, <laughs> you know. So it just depends what mood I'm in to be honest. Um, but yeah, you've got your other, like, two advanced things, which I'm not going to, like, get, I am like, because I don't even have, like, normal PlayStation Plus. I sometimes get PlayStation Plus for a month if they, like, put it on offer for... Or, I think, like, the last time I had PlayStation Plus was a couple of months ago, where they had, like, three months worth for, like, a tenner or something, or £15. I thought that was a good deal. So I got that for uh, three months. Played the hell out of, like, Team Sonic Racing online, because that was, that was so much fun. Uh, I played a bit of Streets of Rage 4 online, which I didn't have the best experience because everybody just left like halfway through the level, <laughs> which is weird. Um, but um, it was still fun. Obviously, FIFA, I played a lot of that, played a lot of WWE 2K22 online. A lot of cheaters on there, just like people with turbo controllers. Because <laughs> that's, you know, that's, that's how you play games, that's fun. So, yeah, like, you've got your two different levels. And they've got like PS3 games, they've got PS2, PS1 games. Which is cool, because like some of them have actually added like trophy support. You've got like Siphon Filter and Ape Escape that have got both uh, trophy support. You've got Resident Evil Director's Cut on there, which doesn't have trophy support, which is really, really sad. Um, something I might consider doing, like if they have Resident Evil 1, 2 and 3 for the PS1, all with trophy support, I might actually get it for like a month. Just so I can play the hell out of those games and get the Platinum Trophy. If they have Platinum Trophies for those games, because I absolutely love those games to death. I don't know I can like shove on the PS1 and play them anytime, but... The fact that I get, probably get Platinum is quite easy for those games, because I know those games like so well. And like I said, they're some of my favourite games. Uh, I'd probably do that, <laughs> to be honest, just to get the trophies. Um, it'd give me a different, you know, way to play the games, because I'd probably have had some like interesting stipulations, like... Can put the game like knife only and stuff, which I've never actually done personally. Um, but I would actually wouldn't actually mind like trying it if there's a trophy involved. Um, so yeah, that's oh, hold on. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I do see like some potential with this. Like obviously, it's even more money. Like it's what twenty pound extra, but obviously you get loads of like, PS one, two, and three games. So maybe it is worth it. I just don't like monthly subscriptions, like personally, I just don't, just don't like them. I just think they're annoying. Um, and we're back, so we're back. We're gonna have a lot of cars today. 
and um, saving off this bridge let's not drop the the phone here some tenants lager I guess people just come here at night for a booze up and throw their cans over there um, seeing that's only like one can we'll see the other side <laughs> yeah nothing down there oh what's that bag of crisps bag of the munchies I don't know maybe if somebody comes along and cleans it up I don't know so um, yeah like I say it's got potential like because a lot of like, PS3 games are actually getting quite expensive, like... And then I've got Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus, which... You have to like, pay like 20 quid for that game, like... It's so expensive, I guess it just didn't like sell well, like... I'm still looking to get that game physically at some point, but... As much as I love Ratchet and Clank, £20 for a PS3 game is... A little bit annoying having to pay that. But, um... Yeah, but if they had some good games in there, games that are like rare, like the original Silent Hill, which... You have to pay like sixty pound for I don't know if, like Castlevania Symphony of the Nights on there or original Klonoa. You know they'd be worth it because those games are like so bloody expensive. So all right, Haunting Ground for PS2 that's really expensive as well. The original Clock Tower on PS1 that's like a hundred quid as well. So like, if I had some of those games, it'd probably be worth it for like a subscription. But again, it's just not really something that I'm personally interested in. But again, I can see the appeal. So, anyway, guys, I think I'll end. Yeah, I just wanted to make a, just a quick brief thing. Like, let me know what you think. Do you think it's something that you'll be interested in? Um, I've seen some people playing PS like PS One games not already on my friends list. So, it seems to have taken off quite well. Again, for me, it's like another way of like pushing physical media out the door. So you don't actually own anything that you actually buy. <laughs> Because like the thing with the like, online subscription services, like they can take, they can like lose the license and just take it off, like click your fingers and it's gone. So yeah, like you just wouldn't want to get used to the games on there in case they take them off. Whereas if you get the physical game, it's yours. You can shove it in any time. It's good to go. I don't know, that's just me. Like I'm, I'm old school. I like my, I like my physical media. I'm trying to. I'm just hoping and praying it like survives as long as it can. Till I'm about 60 year old and maybe I won't really care as much anymore. Um, oh god, it's getting windy. There's actually a lot of traffic as well. You can probably notice a lot of pauses there as well. But yeah, I'll end it here, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's a nice like, back road walk. It's usually quite quiet. It's actually busier today than normal, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe it's because it's the summer and people are a bit more like traveling more and getting out and about uh, definitely glad to get like, things getting slightly back to normal after the lockdowns I know Covid's going up again as you would expect because people are like mingling and stuff they're all having their parties and get togethers but to be honest guys you've got to live life like you can't let a virus like <laughs> dictate the way you live your life forever I know it's bad I know it's dangerous and stuff but you know what you have to move on when most people have had their jabs or everybody's had the jabs at once or jabs. Um, so, yeah, we just need to move on. Like, <laughs> I'm just kind of glad things are getting, like, settled down. Like, I don't, I don't know about another lockdown is, I don't, I don't know. I hear rumours about it, but I don't, I don't think it will happen. I think people are too fed up now. Like, they just want to get back to living. You know, it's like, what, two or three years away already? Like, <laughs> it seems weird, like... Where's that? Where's the, like, those years went? Like, this time just went flying. And this is supposed to be a position plus, not about Covid, like, always getting sidetracked, eh, uh, sidetracked. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Before more cars come, uh, these are kind of like tight corners here. Cars come flying round, even though it's supposed to go slow, so. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you later.